the inside thing. Yeah. But then I want to demystify it for more people who mm -hmm. don't understand it. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to tell me what you like mean by ecocide. Yeah. And maybe some of the points that you're going to speak about. Yeah. So like mainly like ecocide as a an easy definition for ecocide is extensive damage and destruction to the environment, which also affects all all beings and jeopardizes life on Earth. Um, so. But the legal definition, like what, so Polly Higgins was the woman who proposed okay. that a law of ecocide be implemented in 2010 to the UN. She proposed the, the legal definition, which is extensive damage and, and destruction to or loss of ecosystems uh, to a given territory, um, either by human agency or other causes to such an extent that um, the peaceful enjoyment of the inhabitants of that territory have been significantly diminished. So it's quite like a legal, like the reason that it's such a, a compl complicated definition is because it's sort of every single word is legally weighted and it's um, important to sort of get each of the definitions sort of right. Um, but basically it means widespread destruction. So when, you know, when we've got examples like, you know, the, the Niger Delta oil spills, the Athabasca tar sands, the logging of the Amazon, when it's on a huge scale, that kind of destruction, which is destroying people's lives, it's destroying the, the environment. And, um, uh, and so how are you planning to present it to people yeah. and sort of ask them to uh, like help you fight against it? Yeah. And what are the possible small methods that people can sort of uh, use to fight against it? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, like what we're aiming for to, to get a law of ecocide in place, we only need one country to stand up and call for an amendment to, to the Rome Statute, and the Rome Statute is what um, established the crimes of genocide, uh, crimes against humanity, you know, crimes which are so abhorrent to the whole international community that they've been deemed international crimes. Um, so we need one country to stand up and call for that amendment, and then 80 countries to agree that it's a, and, and then it will be legally binding on, on all of them. So have you tried to convince so, so, yeah, I mean, we've sent out we've sent out concept papers to all governments around the world, um, saying why a law of ecocide is necessary and how to implement it. We've got responses back. Um, so some, like a lot of countries, haven't specifically said that they support it. But there have been like one or two. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say like what. what I, should, I shouldn't really say who, who they are, but we have had a, a, some countries stand up and say they, they support this. So that's quite exciting. Can you give us the region um, they might be from? Um, like, uh, like Eastern Europe. And also what's very exciting is that there are 11 countries that already have a law of ecocide in their national legislation. So it shows that, you know, the, the, this is something that people do care about and that they want to see made a crime. Um, and so how the youth can help is that uh, we, we want everyone speaking about ecocide, like why it's wrong, why it should be made a crime. Um, we want faith leaders, we want businesses, you know, everyone coming on board and saying that this needs to be made a crime. Right. Um, as well as, we, we, so we've been reaching out to both grassroots movements, individuals, as well as governments. So it's both about getting the big guys on board and getting the people like empowered as well. So how you can help is to think about like what your skills are. So if you, um, you know, if you feel like confident speaking about things, then go out there and speak about ecocide. If you feel like you're better at writing stuff, then write letters to governments, write letters to people in, in influence and tell them about the law of ecocide. Um, and, or, you know, if you are an artist, then use, use your skills in whatever way to raise awareness about it, um, basically. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs>